How you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP. It's currently the 7th of July, 2022. Uh, I'll just quickly say all the windows are open so you may hear a little bit of uh, background noise. Uh, but I wanted to quickly jump on and do a evening review. Uh, you can see that we're having a little bit of movement in the markets, um, all expected levels obviously. Uh, and something that I really want to emphasize is when you have these levels noted and you understand why you have these levels noted, you have a plan, a methodology, something that you know, you can stick to going forward, you know, when you're engaging in any market, you're not surprised and it keeps everything objective and it keeps your emotions in check. It's really, really important. So before I get into the analysis, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Smash that like button and let's talk about Binance for a moment. So as expected, you know, we have these two levels, right? And I want to preface this analysis by saying I, you know, I believe at some point we're going to see 150 on Binance, okay? Until I see anything that changes that, then, you know, my eyes fixed on 150. Um, but also, you know, the run up to 250 is something that we've been, you know, expecting, talking about, you know, something that we've been mindful of, you know, over the, the weeks that we've been doing this analysis. And it's very important, you know, because if price does go up there, it's going to be rebalancing. And there is another rebalance point between sort of 260 and around about 270. That price may want to run into as well. But if we just drop down to the, uh, the hourly and just kind of stretch this uh, in a little bit, we can see we're just grinding nicely towards that 250. But the point here is this. What do we do if price hits 250? Okay. Uh, and what can we expect? Well, there's there's a notion that because the way price is moving, what it picked up, what it's been dealing off on the way, the way it pulled back here and the sideways movement, a little bit of a pop, the pullback and pop, because of the flow and the way that this is going, this is grinding into that 250 level, which is a little bit better than it would be if price was to go through most of this, but then during sort of like this last portion, it starts to accelerate, 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 and then it just goes sort of mini parabolic into 250, maybe a little bit more to 255 to possibly 260, um, you know, and then kind of tapers off a little bit. When that happens, it's, it's more likely that you get a more sensitive reaction because liquidity dries up and you get a snapback, you know, which probably would have put us somewhere around about sort of 240, uh, possibly lower. Um, and even maybe as aggressively as 230 again. So this nice grind into 250 is pretty decent. Um, I'm going to be watching this reaction at that level. It's going to be a key reaction. Really want to see what price does here because you have to understand these aren't just numbers. It's not just a level that we say, eh, okay, price is going up to 250. Great. Okay. Why 250? This is absolutely key. It's not enough to just say, I'm going to throw a line on a chart. There's a reason that it's at 250 and why it lines up with 250, which is to be honest, quite, quite incredible that it lines up at 250. Um, it's a rebalance point. So what that means is if price goes into 250, Think of price basically resetting, you know, it's, it's a game, right? Price resets and then it starts again, right? Now that start again point is, is it going to continue going higher? Okay. Or is it going to stabilize us, you know, and, and continue going lower? These are the key elements that we need to be paying attention to. We use the hourly chart to do this. You can see the way that price is going up there, nice and controlled, nice and controlled. And again, it's very likely, you know, that it's just going to continue grinding up there, you know, off the back. Um, of its own strength, which is good, but also, you know, being pushed a little bit as well by Bitcoin. Um, there is a little bit of decoupling with Binance and Bitcoin at the moment, but that correlation is still quite strong. So if we see a pretty aggressive, you know, reaction on Bitcoin, both up or down, we're going to see pretty much the same thing, you know, filtering into all of the other altcoins, including in this case, Binance. So just be mindful of this, pay attention to this 250 level, the reaction at that level is going to be key, assuming, of course, we hit it, but it is looking very, very likely. This daily chart looks absolutely, uh, you know, I don't want to say wonderful, but it looks it looks beautiful. And I, I, I love charting, you know, as you guys know, um, and it is very, very likely, um, you know, that we're going to be hitting this 250 level. And then we can assess and see. But remember and be mindful. If we look at the weekly chart like this, we have a downtrend, a rally, a downtrend, a pause, a downtrend, small rally. This is the point that is the key. This is a key level. 150 is absolutely key um, and very important, something we absolutely need to be uh, you know, paying attention to. So we'll just go over to Bitcoin and you can see that explosive move on Bitcoin that we had um, in the last sort of hour or so. 
And again, you can see that acceleration. Why is Bitcoin accelerating into these two levels? Because there is liquidity building up. It's open liquidity here. We've also got resting liquidity over here. So if this continues to get that really nice push, we're probably looking around about 22,500. Now there was somebody, uh, SM, he, he struggles to see the charts. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly go through the numbers for him. So number one, SM, comes in at uh, basically 19,000. Okay, number two, roughly around about sort of 18,600 and slightly lower. Uh, number three comes in at around about 17,600. And number four, that comes in roughly around about sort of 23,000 and slightly higher. Okay, so uh, that's just for SM because I know he's, he's mentioned a few times in the comment sections that he's, he's struggling to see, you know, the charts and the numbers. So um, if I don't message, like if I don't mention them, SM, just just uh, remind me in the comment section and I'll, I'll make sure I do it. Uh, and that's it, guys. So we're getting a nice run. Let's see if it continues. We we'll just jump up to the weekly chart and we'll go over to uh, da, 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 chart number three, I think is a decent chart. Mm, don't like that one. <laughs> oh, and I don't like that one either. That doesn't that doesn't you know tell us much. Uh, this is a very interesting chart. I won't go through why, but um, it's there's there's plenty of room for Bitcoin to run into that twenty four thousand to twenty six thousand level and still maintain its bearish bias. Remember that's absolutely key. Uh, but we are we're looking okay. We're looking okay for the next, I think, week or so. We get a really nice movement to the upside, um, stabilize things a little bit. Um, so going back to, uh, and let's just make sure that we're set up properly so we know what we're doing. Okay. So this is our key chart at the moment. This is the drop down chart, the study chart. Um, and then let's just get back to the Binance chart. Okay. So be mindful. Um, in terms of Binance, there is... There is a reason for Binance to stop at 250 to 260, whereas with Bitcoin, it can run a little bit more. All right. So uh, be mindful of that. So with all of that said, hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day or evening, wherever you are in the world. Look out for news for the Rheumatic Finance launch that will be coming very, very soon. And with all of that said, I will speak to you guys very, very soon. All the best. Take care. Ciao for now.